And then in the AFC East, let's uh, let's pull on that Cam Patriot Bill Belichick string here. You don't even have them making the playoffs, Peter. No, I I don't. And I I mean I think it's look. I love the Cam storyline, and I, I do not doubt for a second that he could quarterback them to a division title. I and the reason is that even though some things have changed in the AFC East. Um, The fact is there isn't a super team there. There has not been a super team in the AFC East other than New England for the last two decades. Think about that. There has not been a serious Super Bowl contender in the AFC East for the last 20 years, unless you count the little Jets run that they had, uh, you know, and they and they had a couple of really good years there with Rex Ryan. But. I, I don't know. Personally, I just never considered them to be a, a Super Bowl winner in those years when they were a contender. But but be that as it may, you know, the Patriots could win that division because even though I picked Miami, Miami has its weaknesses. Buffalo, uh, still, you really don't know. Do you, does anybody really have deep and abiding faith yet in Josh Allen? You know, I don't, even though I think he could end up being a a very good quarterback. And, you know, New England, Rich, they're replacing four starting linebackers. I mean, that's, you you argue all day long that linebackers are really over the years what have been the keystones to when Bill Belichick's got a great team, going all the way back to the Giants in the the middle 80s uh, when he was defensive coordinator. What did he have? He had a great linebacker group. And, I mean, they didn't lose two. They didn't lose three. They lost all four. They, When they lost Dante Hightower, I said, okay, that is a huge mm-hmm. difference maker, gone. Dante Hightower and Kyle Van Noy, gone from that group. I mean, I like their good – I like their young talent a lot, but that's big. And the fact that their receiving group, what did they do in the off season to help their receiving group? Nothing. So, you know, they they did draft a couple of tight ends in the third round, and we'll see how they are. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I, think, I think that the Achilles heel over the years, in my opinion, the same for Aaron Rodgers the last couple of years in Green Bay, is that, you know, they're playing for an organization that thinks that the quarterback can make up for – uh, you know, some mediocrity in the receiver and tight end rooms. So that we'll see. And maybe the Patriots can. We'll see. And in terms of Van Noy, he and Byron Jones are now in Miami, and they, they had a very uh, nice spending spree uh, back in March um, that yep. might lead you to uh, your your thoughts about Miami and how they finished in Brian Flores. But for a team to make the playoffs, as you know, in this quarterback-driven league, they've got to get some consistent quality play from that position. How do you see the Fitzpatrick to a quarterback scenario playing out for this team to make the the playoffs and win the division, Peter? That's a great question, Rich. I mean, it's an absolute mystery what's going to happen at quarterback with that team. Um, And I don't know what's going to happen. I really like Ryan Fitzpatrick as a mentoring type, at least for this one year. But you've got to think two is going to play at least half the season. Mm-hmm. I don't know that. Nobody knows it. Maybe Fitzpatrick will have a, a Tannehill type of resurgent year uh, in Miami. I, I, I don't know. It's just totally unpredictable. But I do think their quarterback play is going to be good enough uh, for them to win, let's say, 10 games and, and win a jumbled division. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.